what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Merry Christmas if you celebrate such a thing. If you don't, it's okay. You don't have to go overboard with letting everybody know how woke you are. <laughs> now you gotta follow me with this because I'm going somewhere. I know by the tone of my voice, you may think you know exactly how this gift is going to be wrapped, but you really don't. So follow me, hopefully you can get to the end of the video. I'll try to make it as quick as possible. I'll share this story with y'all. So growing up, we were like really poor. And Christmas was hit or miss for us. Grew up in a single parent household. Mother raising five children, two girls, three boys. She worked a job at the Houston Independent School District. She was a cook. So she got up off her butt every single day, every morning, five o'clock in the morning, and she would go to work. And she would pay the bills, but sometimes that was not enough. And I won't get into all of the reasons why that wasn't enough or may not have been enough because to be honest, I was still a kid so I didn't know everything that was going on. But we often had not enough of everything. We had insufficient living, put it like that, insufficient everything. So Christmas would come around and you might get a gift, you may not. Anytime I would go to my grandparents' house, my grandmother's house in Louisiana, I always had a gift. It was an abundance of everything. But if I was in Houston, it was hit or miss. So I remember sometimes we didn't get gifts. And when we did get a gift, it was always something we really didn't want. I remember one time me and my brother, who was one year older than me, my brother, Maine, we was hanging out around the Christmas tree early the next early uh, early that Christmas morning looking for something it wasn't nothing there for us so my mama gave us a dollar each and we went to the corner store and bought some cap guns you know and of course when you buy those little cap guns if you're familiar with them they had those little plastic powder packs where you you shoot them and it make the little pop 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 noise little plastic guns nothing you know, come in a little package. We bought those guns for a buck a piece and we played for about <laughs> 15 minutes with them before the little caps ran out. And we just had these little guns. We run around <laughs> with these guns, but the guns couldn't do anything. Other kids were in the neighborhood playing around, riding their bicycles and stuff. And some kids, some other kids didn't have anything either. So Christmas was always a big deal in my household. So I formulated this idea in my head how important it was. So I always said that when I have kids, Christmas is going to be a big deal. I'm gonna get the biggest Christmas tree. I'm gonna buy the biggest presents everybody's going to get something for Christmas. Not just my kids, but I'm going to give everybody kids. Anybody, any little kid that needs something, I'm going to give everybody gifts. So when I first started making money, I would load up my SUV and I would just go to the hood and get my nieces and nephews, drop their gifts out first, and then any little kid who didn't have anything, you know, I, I, I'll take notice and I just give them a gift. Sometimes it was 
a doll, a doll. Sometimes it was a, a, a an Atari game or something or, or a PlayStation. Then sometimes it was a bicycle. But I always gave the other kids gifts also. And as time went, I enjoyed the moments of Christmas. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the music. I really love Christmas music. And I think that's the nostalgia of growing up in that type of environment, being conditioned to enjoy the music and the old festivities and stuff that go around Christmas. Never once considering that, okay, this is Jesus Christ's birthday. It's about celebrating Jesus Christ. And it ain't really about gifts. It's not really about the commercialization of it and stuff. But I skipped right over that part and we went straight to the commercialization of it. So, throughout the years, I would put up lights on my house. I personally would get up on a ladder, like three stories up and put lights around the house. We put lights around the house big old Christmas tree, uh, just lights and everything, just lit. Christmas gifts everywhere. And as the kids got older, it started really hitting me that, you know, wait a man, I'm, I'm going through a whole lot of stuff for, for this Christmas thing. You know, it's, it's all so stressful trying to figure out what gifts to buy for what people and how much money to spend on gifts and who deserves gifts and who don't, you know, do you just give your kids gifts and your significant other? Or do you give your sisters and your brothers gifts and then you give them some? Do you give their kids something? And what if they have kids? Do you give your aunts and your uncle some or do you just give your favorite aunt something and you give your cousin? Well, what about his kids? And, you know, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And well, so we put this undue pressure on us to deliver for Christmas. And I know some people do name drawing to make it simpler and everything. But for me, even better than all of that, for me, Christmas is really, if you're going to celebrate it at in any capacity, in my opinion, is really something for kids. It, you know, and some people say, well, wait, what about, you know, like, you got to make, believing in Santa Claus and all this stupid stuff. Now, come on, y'all. It ain't gonna kill a little kid to have a little fun and have that little old Christmas memory and thinking this is real or that. You know, it's, it's, it ain't gonna kill him, man. It's like a little kid dancing to a song that the song may be provocative and they're, they're singing the song and everybody's freaking out. They don't even know what the words mean. It's going right over their head just like when we were growing up. I was singing songs all the time. I didn't know the meaning of it and the songs didn't damage me. They didn't kill me. They didn't do nothing. They didn't make me go out and do nothing stupid or anything. It was just that it was in, in my memory and I heard it and I repeated it. You know, it was like so I think a lot of times people get people get gone off of just really, really trivial things. Christmas, to celebrate it or not, is a very complex thing in America. And uh, especially if you're not a Christian. Um, so, but the thing is, is that you got people who are Jewish who celebrates Hanukkah. You know, you got, and, and people respect that. You got people that are of, 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 of Latin descent who, who celebrates uh, a single de Maya. And, you know, people are okay with that. So if Christians want to, if that's what they believe, they believe that and they want to celebrate that, man, let them have their thing. But as for me and my house, I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. I just don't. And I think, you know, for me, and it's cool to have a day that you, you know, a day, like I hear people say, well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a father all the time. I'm, I, I give gifts all the time. And you know, it's always Christmas. Why I got to have a special day to give Christmas? That's cool. But, you know, it's kind of like 
having a wedding anniversary, right? You're a husband all the time, 24 hours a day. And throughout the year, you do special things for your significant other, right? But that wedding anniversary is just like a special day to remind you to do something a little bit extra special. And that's the way I view Christmas. So uh, when I look at the purchasing of gifts and stuff like that, I'm way past that doing stage where I feel like I got to get everybody a gift and do for everybody and all of that stuff. I'm not even big on gifts at all, even giving to me. You know, if somebody give me a gift, I'm accepted. But I'm not really big on the whole gift thing. But I do, this time what I did is I gave the gift of not just money, but investment. So people that are in my life, like my kids and you know, certain other people, instead of giving them a material gift, I invested in some stocks and some coins that I felt very, very good about. And from, in my opinion, that's going to be the gift that's going to keep on giving for them because those investments long term are going to yield some great returns. So, you know, they can take that money and, and go do something major with it. And you can think about doing the same thing. You may take a couple hundred dollars. You know, it don't take a lot. And, and, and invest in something that invest in one of those stocks or invest in one of those cryptocurrencies or whatever. Uh, but do your homework first. Do your research. And just plant that little seed and watch it grow. Who knows? Might become the next big thing. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.